Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how we make a wonderful meatloaf in our slow cooker, and I'll explain why I'm wearing a Wonder Woman apron. Oh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. You know it's good when I got it going for two bites. Mmm. Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And the sad. And we are cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, my beautiful wife, her beautiful mama's website. And today we are going to make a wonderful meatloaf. You know, it kind of has a slimming effect, this apron does. My kid, I you know, we're, we're getting the today. set ready today, and she says, Dad, can I pick the aprons we wear? I'm like, yeah, sure. Just as long as one of them says recipes that crock.com. And you said just I'm a man of my word, so I went ahead and let her pick it out. So this is what I'd look like if I was Wonder Woman. All right, so what we need for this wonderful meatloaf are the following ingredients. You need meat, about two pounds of ground beef. You also need two eggs that have been beaten, which Miss Ag, you can do right now. Uh, you also need three quarters cup of milk. You need one cup of ketchup that's been split in two, so half a cup of half a cup of ketchup. You need three slices of bread, something we don't have in our house all that much anymore, and so... You also need a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper, and then you also want to have a packet of ranch dressing mix. We're using a creamy dill ranch because this is what Chris really likes. This is one of her favorites, but any packet of ranch will do. And then also some cooking spray if you have uh, a regular slow cooker instead of a nonstick. And also you want one half cup of onion. So right here I have, oh, about a half an onion, which should make about a half a cup. And make sure I can see what I'm doing here. All you want to do is, if you've never known how to slice an onion, really, well, or, or dice an onion, you want to slice it in just like this. Ouch, make some grooves and hopefully not cut your own thumb like I just about did. You gotta score it. And then, yeah, that's right, you wanna score it, and then you're gonna come down like that. Just like that. Turn it this way, and then just Middle. like that. Try to keep it and on your cutting board. Just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Not everybody can be like me. What? What and now what you wanna do is grab your mixing bowl and you want to toss in your milk your eggs and while I'm putting in the eggs you want to go ahead and tear up that bread for me real quick. Okay, uh, what do I do with the pork? Uh, just put it in the sink along with this right here if you would. Your salt and your pepper. So go ahead and tear up that bread. Um, I need a band-aid. Taking the bread with me. Taking the bread with me. So it turns out that I got myself a sharp knife. I cut myself. Again. These were the only ones I could find. I hope they work. Well, certain ones. So now Miss Ad is going to be tearing up the bread. Mm -hmm. And what, look, what? I made a cat. You could say it's pure bread. That was a terrible joke. All right, I'm gonna help you out and tear up the rest of this bread. You just wanna tear up the bread and get it into chunks like that. With your eggs and your bread, that's gonna be the binder for your meatloaf. Now, once you get all this together, you want to get her all stirred up, just like this. And since I cut my thumb a little bit ago, you're going to handle the next part, which is the fun part. What get is? all this binder together just like this, mix it all up. And then... What's the fun part? You want to come over here, right where I'm at. Tell you what, that whole paper towel trick, y'all, that y'all taught us a long time ago about putting a wet paper towel underneath your cutting board, really helps for that not to stick. So, Miss Ad, you come right here, and then I'm going to add in... The ground beef. Am I going to stir it? And I'm going to add in the onion. Like this. Well, you would think you were going to stir it, but you're not going to stir it. 
you are going to get your hands dirty. So let's get this all in there. Half a cup of your ketchup goes in there with your onion and ground beef. And then the last thing I'll add will be the ranch packet right on top. I've never done this. Good thing you're wearing short sleeves. Well, technically half sleeves, but... Alright, now what I want you to do is get your hands dirty. Get in there and mix all of that up real good. Make sure they can see what's going on here in the camera. Right there? How, how do you do it? Go ahead. Properly? Dig in there and just mix her up. Just mix it up. Get your fingers in there and squish it. Squish all that meat in with all that bread, with all that ranch packet, with all that onion, with all them eggs and milk. Squish it in real good. And we'll speed up the tape right now so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Right now. Very good. Just like that. Good job, Miss Ed. Now, if you would, go wash your hands. All right, and now what I'll do is I'll grab my slow cooker. And we are using, I believe this is a five quart crock pot slow cooker that we're using. And you want to use a five to six quart, if I can get that in the camera right there. And the reason is the smaller your slow cooker, the longer it's going to take to cook. It sounds kind of weird because you would think the smaller it was, the quicker it would cook. But actually, the bigger your slow cooker, the quicker that your meatloaf is going to cook. So okay, this being a five, that, well, it's not that it's spread out. It's also that the heating element's bigger going mm -hmm. around this. So there's going to be a lot more heat to it. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is, since I'm using a traditional ceramic slow cooker, I just want to spray it down just a little bit. You can use cooking spray, olive oil butter if you want to. You just don't want that meatloaf to stick on the bottom. And then you, my friend, come back over here. And I am going to let you scrape it out. Yay. Put it down in there. Should come out pretty easy. Just like that. Make sure you get all them onions and everything out of there. Pretty good up there on the top. Good job. Up there, right there. There we go. And now Do you like flatten that you got your hands dirty and then got your hands clean, get them dirty again. Oh my gosh. Actually, I got a good hand. I'll do it with this one. Thank you. And you just want to pop that in there just like that. Mound it up. And again, if you want to use a casserole crock, you can. It's going to cook a little bit different. If you've got a smaller slow cooker, it'll still work. It's just, it's going to take closer to the eight hours instead of the six, but you want to put this on low for six to eight hours. But before you want to do that, you want to make sure and top it with your remaining ketchup. Let me grab a spatula. Put your ketchup on top, and then that's going to cook down on top of that. So it's more of a, tra a traditional meatloaf. You know, we've got the the low carb meatloafs that we meat loaves meat would it be meat loaves? I, I guess think so. it would. Yeah, yeah, loaves of bread. So it'd be loaves. low carb meat loaves that we have on here. This is your traditional with a little bit of zing from that ranch. And I think that ranch and that onion is going to make it really, really good. It's going to give it a good zing. And again, definitely not low carb because we got some bread in there. But I'm okay with. Put your lid on top, set this on low, and you want to cook this for six to eight hours. Again, it's going to depend on the size of your slow cooker. It's going to depend on your brand of slow cooker. It'll depend on your individual slow cooker. But between six and eight hours is what you want, and what you want to make sure is that the internal temperature of your meatloaf is 160 degrees. So we'll come back in a snap and show you what this looks and tastes like going in our bellies in three, two, one. And our meatloaf is done. Now, we're using a slightly larger crock, so this was done considerably less amount of time. It was done in about five hours, which is fine by me, because I think we're ready to this meatloaf. This wonderful meatloaf, that is. And as you can see, some of the ketchup's cooked down. I guess if you had this done on, like, your Ninja or whatever, because I know some people like that, where the ketchup on top has baked up, you know, and kind of... Uh, formed like a glaze over the top of the meatloaf. You could probably do that in your oven afterwards if you wanted to. I think I'm happy with it just the way it is. 
Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. See some onions all cooked up in there. Pardon the steam. Slide this over here. And let's give her a taste tester, Miss Ad. It's fall apart for sure. It's slipping. I'm going to have to get me a smaller piece there because I know this is hot. This thing just got unplugged. It is very, very hot. So please be careful. Ooh. Hot. Mmm. Give us a second. Oh my gosh, there is an explosion of flavor in that. The ketchup, of course, gives flavor. But beyond that, those onions add a lot of flavor. And, and it also adds to the texture. Yeah, it gives a good sweetness to it. The ranch, you can really taste it in there. Oh my goodness. Y'all, that's one of my favorite meatloaves we've ever done. I really enjoy our meatloaves, but that one right there, I think there is definitely a reason why they call it wonderful meatloaf. Let that cool down and set up a little bit and make for some great meatloaf sandwiches. And we got that whole loaf of bread, we might have to do that. Mm-mm-mm. You know it's good when I got it going for two bites. Mm. Good stuff, y'all. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a like down below at the bottom of the video. And also, if you've not become a member of the Croc Posse, click that little subscribe button down below. And next to it is a bell. What do you call it? Dingaling. Click the dingaling, and we'll let you know right away when we put up a new video. And also, whatever y'all do, laugh often. Be good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Bye. Good job, Miss Ad. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.